It's that time of year again. Christmas. Presents. Oh, what are you eating? One of my favorite gifts. This guy. It's the dreaded chocolate. During the holiday season, chocolate toxicity is one of the most common reasons pet parents are calling veterinarians. Exactly. How much chocolate is toxic? Do you need to worry if your dog eats this? Find out exactly what you need to know in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. In this video, I'm gonna show you the three most common types of chocolate, whether or not you need to be worried or not. If our 50 pound dog Pippi consumed eight of these little milk chocolates, do you need to be calling your veterinarian? No. At the most, there are gonna be some mild signs. Maybe a little bit of vomiting, diarrhea, probably nothing at all. For our food-driven lab Pippi, she would have to eat around 100 of these to get seriously sick. Hmm, fortunately Pippi, that is not gonna happen. But if our faithful lab, aka the Pipster, were to get into the dark chocolate bar, that's a different story. When we're trying to figure out the amount of theobromine in a dark chocolate bar, it's somewhere between five to 10 milligrams of theobromine per gram of chocolate. Let's go on the high end. This chocolate bar is 80 grams, say 800 milligrams of theobromine. Like, is that enough to be toxic to Pippi? Pippi weighs 50 pounds, low end, be about 500 milligrams of theobromine. This chocolate bar contains about that. So I would expect her that she has the potential to have some mild to moderate clinical signs. You're at all concerned, you're calling your veterinarian and or inducing vomiting. The cocoa powder. The cocoa powder, which was used to make these chocolate muffins. To make all these muffins, we used about three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder. This guy here. The dry cocoa powder, that is the most concentrated form of theobromine. Each gram of cocoa powder contain up to 30 milligrams of theobromine. We use three quarters of a cup, which once again is 80 grams. That's like almost 2,500 milligrams of theobromine in our like batch of 12 muffins. That is seriously toxic. If Pippi were to eat those 12 muffins, then she would have serious clinical signs. What are the signs of chocolate toxicity? So GI, vomiting, diarrhea, restlessness, hyperactivity, incoordination, and even seizures. The clinical signs occur somewhere between four to 24 hours after ingestion. But will your dog die from this? Potentially, yes, they could. Fortunately, that's very, very uncommon. When they look back at poison control reports, of a thousand reported cases of chocolate toxicity, um, only five of those dogs dies. So we're looking at about 0.5%. But can it happen? Yes, I've seen it in veterinary practice myself. So I mean, it is serious and you don't want your dog to be poisoned by chocolate. It's important to know, you know exactly what type of chocolate your dog has consumed, about how much they've consumed, and whether or not you need to be concerned or not. If Pippi were to consume all of my chocolate muffins, which contain in excess, and you know, they contain that three quarters of a cup of cocoa, over 2,000 milligrams of theobromine, what would I do? I would get her to vomit. I'd be using this guy. 3% hydrogen peroxide. Uh, the peroxide dose for inducing vomiting in our animals is one teaspoon per 10 pounds of body weight. Pippi weighs 50 pounds, she get about five teaspoons. That's just under two tablespoons. There's the teaspoon Pippi. Yeah. You would pour that one to two tablespoons down your 50 pound dog's mouth, just in the back of their tongue. Lift up their nose, have them swallow it. I'd expect them to vomit within a minute or two. If they don't vomit within 10 minutes, then you would repeat it again. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you, Pippi, for starring in today's video. Pippi seems to be pretty agreeable to all this. I hope you are having a good Christmas, and thank you for being part of this channel. It's Dr. Jones.